So. Hello everyone, my name is Lisa, and I'm the Viet Vegan, because I'm Viet and I'm vegan, and I'm a little sick right now. That's why I sound a little different. I'm pretty sure I'm like a little delirious. Today we'll be making lentil patties. Now these are patties that I have eaten in my What I Eat in a Week, which is my last upload. You can watch it over there. I eat it a lot. I like to put it on salads, on my sandwiches. I like eating it on its own, all with my sriracha tahini sauce, which I will be sharing with you shortly. These lentil patties are gluten-free and they're vegan. They are also soy-free, but unintentionally. 2016 was the year of the lentil, so there was like a lot of stuff on lentils that I learned about. They're really good for the environment, really good for you, high in fiber, high in iron. Vegans, we need our iron. There's a protein that starts with an L that is harder to get for vegans, but lentils are full of them. So eat your beans, eat your lentils. Lentils are great. These are actually split red lentils. Unlike green lentils that still have like the hull on the outside, these have slightly less fiber, although they're still pretty fibrous. They're a little bit more homogenous in texture, but we're gonna use them as a binding agent for these patties and the protein part of these patties. So the basis of this recipe is lentils, oats, and some of these veggies that you cannot see at all. So I have here onions, carrots, cilantro, also known as coriander, depending on where you're from, and a buttload of spices. All the recipe ingredient amounts will be listed in the description down below, so don't you worry. First thing you're gonna do is you're gonna cook your lentils. Now, because of TV magic, I have cooked them ahead of time. So basically, take your lentils, you rinse them, you drain them, and then you cook them in about two cups of water until they're nice little soft lentils like these. They're kind of mushy, they kind of look like mashed potatoes. The next part involves the stove, the handy dandy slightly dirty stove. So to start off with these lentil patties, we're gonna use a little bit of oil. Boop. You don't need oil if you don't want to, but it adds a good chunk of moisture. I'm actually gonna add a tablespoon. We're gonna add onions and carrots. You want about a cup's worth of each. Get in there. We're gonna cook this until the onion is soft and translucent, and the carrots are also soft. We'll just fast forward to the point where it's done cooking, and I'm gonna lie down for a second. And we're back! So it's been about 10 minutes or so. Everything's looking nice and brown, you know. Now we're gonna add our spices. Now this is a bunch of different spices. Onion powder, garlic powder, paprika, turmeric, cumin, cayenne pepper. Now we're just gonna sprinkle them in. You want to stir them in. So you just want to cook your spices a little bit, give them a little flavor. So see all this flavor at the bottom of the pan? You don't want to lose that, you want to keep that. So then what you do is you get a little bit of water, you're just going to splish splash. Look at that, all the flavor is now up in your food. It also makes your life easier when you gotta clean the pot. You know, the scrub and keep all your delicious flavor. Gonna turn off the heat. So now we have our food processor. So this is about half a cup of oats. And I like to blitz them until they're kind of like a flour, but not quite. Honestly, these oats are a little bit more sturdy, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna add a little bit more of these ones in. So they're not quite totally pulverized, so they're kind of like a powder. This is gonna act as our binding agent to get everything to stick together. Sometimes other recipes, like for burger recipes, you'd use breadcrumbs, but I'm just gonna use oats to keep it gluten free. So we're gonna add in our carrots and onions. Now this is just like a base recipe. Honestly, you can play around with the flavorings. You can do whatever you want. We're also going to take some of the cilantro that I have here. It's about five branches of it, I guess. It's gonna be about a half cup. I'm just gonna roughly chop everything together, stems included, because since everything's going into the food processor, you don't gotta get too, you know, worried about taking the leaves off. I'm pretty lazy, so you know, you just put in like a half cup cilantro. It might be a cup if you don't like press it in, but I'm saying like a half cup, like, you know, in there. And it just gets, it adds a little bit of color, a little bit of flavor. Look at this little, like, trio of colors. It's a fun time, so now, uh, we, we blend everything together. Give it a little checky checky. It's looking pretty good. I'm gonna add the rest of my oats here and just kind of blitz them a little bit so they're not like totally chunky. If you have rolled oats, you can just leave them whole in your thing. These oats don't seem to be flattened as like, or rolled as flat as they normally are when I buy them. Um, these ones are from a different company. So they're like a little thicker rolled wise. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of processing, you know? but normally I would just leave it whole. Now what you're gonna do, then you add this mixture, which is, you know, 
you know, flavor central here, we're also gonna add some salt. I probably should have added it to the food processor, but I forgot. So we're just gonna add the, uh, the veggies into our lentils. You know what you should do? You should get a spatula so you don't lose any of this goodness. So just one second. If you don't have a rubber spatula, what are you doing? I highly recommend a spatula. Heck, if you want to support me on Amazon, I'll leave a link down below for some spatulas. But you don't have to use it. You can just go to your regular store. Using a rubber spatula means there's less gunk that goes down the sink because Canadians don't have a garbage disposal like you Americans do. So just mix everything together. The mixture might be a little bit softer or a little bit more dry depending on your stove, how much water you added, how juicy your vegetables are. It's kind of like, you gotta play around with it a little bit, but I kinda wanna add a little bit more oats to get everything together. So I'm gonna add another like, I don't know, two or three tablespoons of oats. All right, these look better. Yeah, that's about a quarter cup of oat flour, heavy crumbs. The only reason why this might vary is because Say you're cooking lentils and when you rinse them, you don't drain as much water as I did or I, you drain less water than I did. It might, you know, fluctuate. So you can add a little bit of water, you can add oil to compensate. So say if your mixture is really dry, just add a little bit of water. If your mixture is a little too soft like mine is, add a little bit of oats. And it should be a little bit stiffer. Yeah, this looks better. Way better. So it's a little stiffer, it'll hold its shape. It's not quite as like mashed potato-y as it was before. This recipe has a lot of flexibility, so no need to stress. So I'm going to use a cookie scoop. This is about a three tablespoon cookie scoop. And I'm going to scoop out the little patties. If you don't want to make as much as I did, it's okay, just half the recipe. No big deal. I like to kind of just like pat them down a little bit but it's easier if you have a little oil. I like to use oil for this. You don't have to, you can just use water if you want to. So you're just gonna pat down these patties a little bit. So these are essentially like little burger patties. You can use them however you want. I like to put them on sandwiches. You can leave them as balls if you want, but because I like putting them on sandwiches, I like to flatten them a little bit so that you know it makes the eating experience a little bit easier. And you can swap this out for like any protein if you want. You can swap out chickpeas, white beans, black beans, green lentils. The only thing with red lentils is that they have a little bit more moisture content and a little bit less fiber. You might need to add a little bit more water, a little less oats. Play around with it, get a feel of what you want to do. So these are all ready to go into the oven. That's it. It's pretty simple. And then um, you just bake a second tray of them. I'll see you in a second once they are ready. And we're back, and they're all baked. Boom, lentil patty. Like I said, you can eat this like a burger if you want to. Personally, I don't really like it as a burger. I like it as like a, a filling for sandwiches. Anyway, we're gonna make my sauce. A lot of you freaked out about the sauce when I posted it in my What I Eat In A Week video, and it's literally just five ingredients. So we got some water going. So next, we get this little lemon. We squeeze lemon juice in here. And then next what you're going to need is some tahini, or as this says, tahina. The difference between this tahini and like what I like to call white people tahini, this one has a lot more like, you know, ooh, ooh factor, you know what I mean? Not like, not ew factor, but like, mmm factor, you know what I'm saying? This is the stuff that you want because the other stuff, it's not so good. And if you guys have never heard of tahini before, it's just basically ground up sesame seeds, but not all tahinis are made equally. You know what I'm saying? There's some that are way better than others. So I prefer this stuff, the stuff in the white tub, orange cap, found in the Middle Eastern Isle. So I've got a quarter cup of water, lemon juice, and then I add a quarter cup of tahini. You're gonna drizzle it in here, schmoop, boop, boop. And you're gonna think to yourself, Lisa, that doesn't look like it's gonna come together. Just trust. Worst case scenario, you're gonna add some, this is honestly, this is the first time I've measured it. I've made this sauce a billion times, so I just kind of wing it. And then we're gonna add about a tablespoon of sriracha. Then you mix it all together. And I'm not gonna lie, I'm gonna add a little bit more tahini, cause I just, I like to play with a little danger. A little salty, salty. So yeah, if you want it thicker, add more tahini. If you want it thinner, add more water. You can start out with a little, you start out with a lot. Start with a liquid first because then it doesn't stick as much to the sides of the uh, cup, but it doesn't really matter. Give it a little tasty taste. Oh, that's good stuff. Honestly, sometimes I feel like I make this just so that I can dip it in this tahini. And you can use it as a dressing, you can use it as a dip. All right, so there we go, lentil patty, little dunky dunky. Mmm, crispy on the outside, tender on the inside. What more could you ask for? 
Oh my god. So it's nice and soft on the inside. I kind of like it a little gooey, but that depends on your mixture like before you put it in the oven. If it's still pretty soft, it's gonna be nice and soft and moist once it's done. But if it's pretty dry to begin with, it's gonna be kind of dry. Just the lentil patties combined with the sriracha and the tahini and the lemon and a little bit of salt. Mm, 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 mm. All right, let's make a little bit of a sandwich, you know what I'm saying? So we're gonna add a little tahini. I meant to get tomato, but I forgot. A little this, a little that. There you go. A little bit of greens on top. I highly recommend a tomato to add a little juiciness to this sandwich, but I don't have anything but cherry tomatoes right now. Good enough, whatever. All right, and then you do a little squishy squishy. That's your sandwich. Ow, it's kind of hard bread. It's good though. Honestly, this sauce makes it. Like, the, the patties are good, but the sauce just takes it to a whole another level. Like I said, I like putting this on salad. I thin this out even a little bit more for a dressing. Actually, this, this consistency is probably fine. Gosh, it's a good time. Lentil patties, tahini, on a sandwich, in a wrap, on its own, as a dip, on a salad. Did I say that already? But these are really good. I like meal prepping these, especially for Eddie, because then he can just pack them to go to work. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, this recipe. As always, the recipes are linked down below. Full recipe, as always, with a little blog post, because I can't help but write about my feelings, because I have a lot of feelings. And yeah, subscribe if you like this kind of content and recipes. And stay tuned for the Bun Me Opala recipe, because a lot of you guys have been asking for that. It's coming. I swear. I'm working on it. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a delicious day. Bye! Okay, it's focused. So we're gonna add, ah, it's hot. Schmoke. The next thing you're gonna do is clean up a little bit. <laughs> oh yeah, that was a good one.